Fantastic. Can I go back to um, Aslumbai? Would you like yes. to say uprising in Bangladesh? What do they normally do? The practice. I mean, there's no uh, many right and wrong. Yeah. Well, I can say, I mean, many. I came in UK uh, at the age of ten, so I have ten years of experience growing up in Bangladesh with parents, with external family, with village people. And uh, obviously, a great experience in Tower Hamlet living for the last at least 30 years. Okay. Uh, although when I came here after uh, I was 10 years old, but I've been to Bangladesh a few times. And what I can say, I'm, I'm saying the village experience, not the, not the town, the okay. village experience. Children are raised normally in family with extended family. They have their mother or father, obviously. They have the granddad, grandma, even s sometimes granddad's parent as well. And also you have um, other neighbors living close by and the, the village as a whole. So in Bangladesh, you can see uh, raising up children in the village context is a bit different. There's less pressure on ma mother and father. You have extended family to look after. And even though the children are outside in the village running around, they think the whole village is looking at them. They won't behave. They won't behave badly because they know everyone knows them, and they'll be reported back. And that's what usually happens. Someone will say, "Look, I know who you are, and I know what you're doing." I'm gonna tell your dad. Is that mean whole village is like a one family? Yeah, yeah. So you can say uh, the whole village is contributing to uh, raising up children. Everybody's looking after each other. Okay, but context here is different. Uh, I can see when people came here, a lot of parents, I can see from my experience, a lot of parents thought it's going to go the same way, but here's more independence. A lot of parents didn't know what the children are doing when they're going outside the school. Okay, So after 10, 15 years, when they find out the truth, it was too late for them. They thought it was going to be the same like when they were back home, but when they found out it's too late and they lost the control of children. So raising up children, and uh, Mahbub will say, <laughs> can I ask you something? It's totally <laughs> different. It's more pres <laughs> more responsibility on mother and father, and it's not just you have to learn every day. How old were you? you how old were you when you le learned your first F word? I mean, a swear word. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how I learned in Bangladesh. <laughs> okay. And I remember. I mean, I have to say. <laughs> don't, don't say it. <laughs> the very first time I swear, oh, I swear to my mother. Beaten up really badly. <laughs> but only once, and that's it. Stop swearing. <laughs> that worked for you. Mama, yeah, it did it work. Yeah. My mom said, look, and I've learned it from my cousin brothers and sisters. They used to, like, there were seven brothers, one sister, and all day they, they used to, like, fight and this, that. <laughs> and me and my brothers, only two of us. And we were really good behaving, but because you see them doing that every day to their parents. Yeah. One day, I got a slip of tongue and I said something bad to my mom. She said, That's it. this is your first time. She tied me up in the lecture <laughs> tree. You know the lecture tree? Be very hardly and that's it. That was my last of saying something better. I'm not so anyone. I'm glad something worked. <laughs> no.